are you kind of getting the gist like it's not really it's not that there's not transport like that it sounds like i'm just dragging the uni but i'm just being i'm just giving you guys the real like tea part the prices are disgusting hold that l hello guys welcome back to my channel hope everyone is well and good um today i'm going to be filming a full review of the university of hertfordshire and this will be my last university video and um, i will have all my other university related videos linked below and um, obviously now i'm finished if you're new welcome hello subscribe like comment um, and yeah so i have graduated this year obviously 2021 and um, graduated with first class baby and um, so i stayed at home for the first year of university and commuted the second year i lived out and the second year is when we went into lockdown so started the second year um 2019 september october time went into lockdown march of 2020 um so the rest of second year was in lockdown um and third year was basically in lock basically half of my course was in lockdown um so i'm just going to give you my full thoughts full reviews um on university in general what i thought um, and kind of conclude everything all together and i have a playlist of all my uni videos so first of all starting off with the uni buildings if you want to go to uni that's like really high tech modern university of Hertfordshire is not the one let me be honest the buildings are fairly old like they're not really high tech even in our library i think it was only like or well, my final year like final academic years when they had like a system where you like put your card on the like thing and then it opens for you otherwise before you just had to like show your card to the security person and most unis have had this from time like if you go to uni then you probably know like there's a new building which is the enterprise hub which is new but there's only there's a few kind of like tutorials and stuff there um which is kind of like part of the business school otherwise it's like for other people that aren't actually part of the uni um have their own business etc um the rest of the uni so i was on de Havilland um campus which is kind of like the business law mathematics accounting finance kind of side the other side is basically everything else again not really that high tech there's a library obviously on both campuses other campus is college lane it's just not that high there's a few buildings that are like quite new um but the majority of it is not in regard to accommodation in hertfordshire it's expensive as in it will charge london prices but the quality of accommodation you're getting is not quality because at least if you go to leicester if you go to birmingham if you go to manchester it's their city so they have like newer com like they have proper student accommodation like apartments sky rises so many accommodation built just for students and whereas in hertfordshire it's just the uni so like it's kind of like people haven't gone out of their way to really like build like massive blocks of student accommodation but the accommodation is very expensive and it's not it's not modern again it's i'm sensing a little theme here it's not modern it's not high tech none of that the best you have realistically if you want to live off campus um is like a shared house but it's like a normal house but it's like for a com if that makes sense and obviously if you don't live if you're not going to university in london you will get a lower sfe um but they don't can take into consideration that heart which is near london so the prices are also quite expensive if that makes any sense um whereas if you took that money and you went to leicester or something you'd get a much nicer place um but would be much cheaper but you have the same much you know accommodation whether you went to hertfordshire or less in terms of like modern accommodation um i'd say out of the two campuses if you're trying to stay on campus college Lane is probably the nicer ca campus but again the student accommodation isn't really popping like that couple studios which are disgustingly overpriced and they're squished as well if you want to your own space other option is luna students um which they've just built and that's student accommodation um and it's kind of like opposite de Havilland campus that's pretty new and modern again it's pretty expensive um i haven't been in there personally myself but i've seen it online and stuff um if you wanted like modern accommodation that would be your best bet and there's also another one i can't remember the name of it but i will put the name on the screen here um and that is also kind of near the two campuses in the middle ish um and that's kind of like private modern accommodation the prices again are a little bit rude but if you kind of want that modernness and you kind of want like your own private space or just share with like one person and um, then those are another two options to conclude the accommodation part the prices are disgusting and the accommodation for the price is it's gonna give you heartache because it's painful babe it's it's really painful cool in terms of location 
I'm not gonna lie, the location's dead. It sounds like I'm just dragging the uni, but I'm just being, I'm just giving you guys the real, like, tea. The location is dead, there's no attraction, there's no nothing, especially if you're coming from London, if you're coming from any other city. Don't be expecting city vibes, because let's get it straight. Hatfield is a town, it's not a city, so don't get it twisted. Don't think you're gonna be doing attraction. It's not that, like, let me get this straight. Clothing, like, just shops in general. You have the Galleria. Ask me what's inside the Galleria. Ask me what's inside the Galleria, because the two best things, they've even shut it now. It's one of those things that it looks like they should have closed it 10 years ago, if I'm being completely honest, but it's that kind of vibe. Kind of like an outlet shopping centre. The best things in there were the Nike outlet and the Calvin Klein outlet, and they're both shut down. So, in there, there isn't really anything. If you've got cinema, you've got a couple Nando's, a Chinese restaurant, clothing-wise, TK Maxx, Sports Direct are you kind of getting the gist like it's not really it's not that the the nearest town that has actual like stuff is probably Welling, which is probably like a 10 minute drive but again it's not close in terms of also location linked to that transport links transport is not popping in Hertfordshire in general obviously if you're coming if you don't live in Hertfordshire and you don't know much about Hertfordshire there's not transport like that and the majority of people either don't drive or will not bring a vehicle to uni so how are you getting to these places? The supermarkets, you've got what, Asda and Audi. Uh, yeah, Asda's is a bit further from other things, but you've got Audi and Asda. Um, within Hatfield, nothing else really. You've got little corner shops, but again, corner shops aren't popping like that. Like, there isn't even like little Tesco local Sainsbury's. It's not like that. So just so you're fully aware, like even when you think of like places for motives, there's literally one option which is the forum which i think is open back again because obviously it's shut covid times and um, i believe it's open back up again you've got the forum it's in the uni um and then above it you have the attic which is kind of like linked to it the only other place is watford like sometimes there'll be motives in watford which they'll do like coaches to and from so you've got basically two locations to choose from it's not like there's bare different different clubs it's not like that just so you know this is not even okay i've basically dragged the uni now let me give you a little little perks of the uni one perk i found of the uni is the semesters are pretty short so you basically start the very very end of september um and then we end right i don't know the 18th of december or something have all the way until like january maybe like 7th to 10th come back january 7th 10th um some courses you'll have your reading weeks as and when you don't have half term in uni um, but you'll have like reading weeks which your course will just tell you have a reading week sometimes before exams or before um coursework is due and then we finish may beginning of may i think we finish before may exams will be like in may i believe if it's not i'll check if it's wrong i will put when most exams for this university are um, but there's kind of general like an ex there's kind of like a general couple of weeks where like everyone has like official exams. Every course that has like official kind of like sat exams in an exam hall um, will be within that week. But you obviously finish uni a bit before, so it, it's really pretty short to be honest. So if you have a course that isn't um, something like nursing where you have to do like placement or something, but like most kind of courses where like you just kind of finish, um, you should be done basically by June and then all the way until basically October the next year. If you're coming from London or you're coming north, it's a pretty good location. You don't want to go to all the way in London or all the way in south. Like it's a pretty good like location in terms of vicinity to other places. Not in terms of what it has, but in terms of like how far it is generally in the scale of England. Also, if you are from London, it's not too far. Like, it's close enough basically. If you want to move away from London, but not too far, then it's pretty easy. Um, just on the A1, um, pretty easy to get to as well. In terms of getting into the uni, as in like getting in in first year, like UCAS and that, I think it's a pretty easy uni to get into. I feel like it's, the requirements are not high. Obviously, it depends on your course and it depends on your grades from A level or um, college, but definitely you can get in with like college grades, get into um, the university. I actually got in with, I had an unconditional. So when I did my um, choices for UCAS, I can't remember any of my other choices, but I put um, University of Hertfordshire as my first choice. Um, and then I got an unconditional offer, which I accepted from them. So either way, regardless of what I got grades wise, um, I was able to get in and I actually did not get the grades that I thought I would and my A-levels were actually quite bad but I graduated from first you know you can change your life baby and in through clearing is also pretty easy as well um if for whatever reason you don't make any of your choices or you have to go to another uni I feel like it's pretty easy to get in through clearing
In terms of the lecturers, this is something that's really dependent. Each lecturer is different. I believe most unis are probably the same. There's really nice ones which will go out of their way to really make sure that you pass and that you pass well. They do everything in their power to provide as much kind of like information and content for you. And there's also lecturers that clearly don't want to be there if I'm completely honest obviously I'm not going to name them but they do not want to be there there's lecturers there that are clear that they just don't want to help people been in situations where I've not understand like coursework and I've contacted lecturers or like module leaders and been like oh, I really don't understand like can you have could, do you have any advice and they've just referred me back to the brief and they clearly don't want to help basically it's one of those things that you can't think about you hold that L but what I will say is please don't get rude because don't bite the hand that feeds you at the end of the day it's the lecturer that's going to give you the mark the lecturer is in control of your grade for that module so you're just going to have to firm it based if the lecturer marks it they um also moderate it apparently I don't know about that but apparently moderate it basically once you get the mark and if you're like I can't believe I got this mark really low this happened to me the lowest I ever got I think was like 40 in one module and I've never got that low like I'm a first class babe Do you know what I mean like it's just you know like when you know that's not your grades I got 40 cool went to message the lecturer and she's like yeah the grade's fine and you have to go through a really really long process to get it remarked so basically it's an L so just make sure that you really really try that first time and you're buddy buddy with the module leader even if the module leader is mad they are the one that marks your work university and covid um like actually doing university through covid I'd say it was more mentally challenging but in terms of the actual uni and like the content put out like I'd say that the uni system like that online system is actually pretty good I feel like from lockdown to like getting back on up and running everyone remote it was pretty quick like they were pretty good at that anyway before covid like most lecturers would record their um kind of lectures anyway and then put it online um so that was pretty good but obviously lecturers would just record it from home speak over the powerpoint do information that way um and then all we'd have like kind of seminars and we'd all have on zoom so it was pretty good less like online systems if i'm honest like i can't really fault in terms of like the lrc covid times like when covid was really really bad i mean you had to wear like a mask inside that was long because basically with the lrc's there's three floors i think on each library um and they closed the top two floors so it was just like one floor which was really annoying because the ground floor is the ghetto like if you know you know um and then everyone had to still spread out the, the guards were on it the guards were on everybody's like i'm not even gonna lie but i can't complain because they were just doing their job they were trying to keep everyone safe but the guards were on everyone's neck like don't mess with the library guards in uni of hearts the, the library guards are just some of them take the job too seriously like certain bounces and certain clubs do that's where your mask inside while you were working that was really hard another thing that they helped out with covid time is they did like a rent relief fund i don't believe they did it for my year so the first so obviously the first year I went into lockdown was year when I was in second year and that was when I was living out I don't believe they had any kind of like relief fund then I don't think so I can't remember if they did um for this year I got an email they saying that they had a rent relief fund for people that lived out like for my third year so the year that's just ended it was a maximum of 300 pound which it's kind of like a nice gesture but like what's that really gonna do I'm sorry but like nice but I'd, I don't know how far that could really stretch for someone I guess it depends what situation you're in but the, I guess that could be like a couple weeks like food shopping so I guess it was like a nice gesture um in terms of another thing with COVID that they were really really good at is they had a lot of free testing like that was amazing like they got the free testing like pretty quick this was tests were kind of a bit hard to get but they got that up re like really quickly up and running they had kind of um a whole like place where they were doing testing in the university on college like every time you come in they were like you can take a test but yeah and then you get a text within 30 minutes and then you can like go to the library or whatever of student well-being so we had like a student well-being kind of like center or like section of the uni um and every uni i believe has this um and it's kind of like if you're going through any issues or anything at home or any reason that you need to get a sack which is serious advanced circumstances if you for whatever reason have to defer any work then you'd submit a sack and then you'd contact um the student well-being they're actually from i never needed to use them personally but from friends experience with the student well-being it wasn't great in terms of their response time was ridiculously slow and I understand COVID but at the same time a lot of people are saying oh because of COVID this because of COVID that I don't think COVID is a good enough excuse and I think because of COVID they should have probably been more on it. I think if you're going through something like you don't know what the student's going through if they're contacting student well-being it could be something really serious if you're taking two months to reply to someone like 
God forbid, but what can happen in that time? Like, you're not helping, do you get what I mean? Especially when it's regarding, like, deferrals, referrals and that type of thing. It, the response time was so slow that it's like, people were having to retake years because they hadn't gone into contact with them. It kind of been like, okay, you failed this, but you need to retake this kind of thing. So... I think in regards to that, that's something they definitely need to work on, the kind of student wellbeing centre, like, it was just all over the place, a bit scatty, like, they were very much like, oh, contact us if you need any help, contact them now, and they're not really replying, so that just wasn't really on it. Uni in general, I guess, kind of to do with that as well, they weren't really that great of communication, certain people had failed modules but they didn't know, didn't even know if they were graduating because it just wasn't really communicated to them that well and also what their options were after that. Okay, it's cool, I failed a module but it's like, can I retake it or do I have to another year? Like, that wasn't so great. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. I kind of just wanted to basically do a really quick run through of kind of like thoughts on things of uni. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them down below. As I said, this is my last um, university video. I'm moving on now, like baby's graduated so it's kind of like onto like working life and yeah just other stuff but you need like that's a closed chapter for me i'm happy i went um i think it was the right choice for me but at the same time i do i do kind of think like maybe i should have went away for uni went to leicester or went to coventry or birmingham or maybe i should have just went somewhere else but i believe everything happens for a reason i'd say the uni is like a pretty decent uni if you just want to go like i wouldn't say it's amazing i wouldn't say it's horrible um it's just a university um uh, it's crazy but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed make sure that you leave a comment below if you found out anything new if you have anything to add or any questions at all that i can help with i'll definitely make sure to answer your question um and i hope that you enjoyed this um video so thank you guys bye